Felipe, a hundred dollars gold, he doesn't make it to this site. Avert me, General. He's past the halfway mark. Too bad. We'll have to bury him over here. I'll take the same bet you gave Felipe. One hundred dollars gold. I never take money from a woman. But I will take your bet. Poor fellow. So near, yet so far. That's one way to visit a new country. If you're not betting against his life, how about helping him keep what's left? Also, we're going across. I didn't understand you, American people. You got your own war, north and south. How many wars you want? You know very well, General Calleja. He don't want American troops in the side. General Calleja's an outlaw. He's holding Zona Libre without the consent of the Mexican government. Government? What's government? You got Abraham Lincoln. That's one government. You have uh, Jefferson Davis. That's another government. Viva el General Calleja! <laughs> Such a big, beautiful heart. Live one or dead one? Live one, but only just. What's your name? Your name? Jim Lake. They want him put in bed. I wondered what for. Murder? Maybe a decision. Uh, I think you've insulted him. Oh! <laughs> Welcome to Zona Libre! Lavalas, por favor. Considering how bad it could have been, you came out of it pretty good. I was praying hard all the time. No wonder you swallowed half the river. You just about prayed yourself to death. How did you happen to choose Zona Libra as a landing place? You didn't mean that. You meant something else. Zona Libra is a place where friendships don't come easy. Sometimes there's a need in a man to reach out in the darkest places for a human hand. You're worn out. The system deserves a rest. I'll get your room in this hotel. Pick you up later and introduce you to the town. You'll find dry clothes in the closet. Thanks. Well, this is the El Gallo. It's one of General Calleja's enterprises. He's got a finger in everything that spells a dollar. A man comes to the zone to escape the law and finds himself a prisoner. After a while, you get to hate the place. I see the general's nonpartisan. There's plenty of partisan feeling here, even among deserters. Yeah? What's yours? I'm neutral. How about you? I'm for the winner. Is this another of the General's enterprises? Never ask personal questions about the women of Pugliata Rivers, Mr. Lake. Her? She didn't stick around for your recovery. You still haven't answered my question. 
Well, she owns 50% of this place. I guess that makes her Kayea's business partner. I was thinking about after business hours. Don't. She saved my life. I just wanted to thank her. Send her a letter. It's safer. I heard about the shooting in the river. Lake, this is Quartz Anderson. Quartz is a genius when it comes to luring Texas beef to this side of the border. Plenty of Cuban and Spanish buyers here, military. Even after General Cayea's cut, the money's big. I need men, tough men. You want to join my outfit? No. I'm tired of fighting the Yanks, huh? Yeah. What's your excuse? Senor Lake, Senor Lake, you have an engagement with the General Calleja. No. You're mistaken, Captain. I have an engagement with a bottle of whiskey. Big honor, Lake. You'll enjoy the General. He's un gran hombre, most gracious man in the world. I just busted my engagement. Shall we go? Por favor. Even with being chased, backtracking, and everything, a man could get here from Colorado in three weeks. How much is it they said in Austin he got away with? So much you could buy a world with it. General Calleja is well prepared for any kind of an emergency, eh, Captain? Por supuesto! Even where there is no law and order, you've got to have law and order. The police, the military, the cemetery, you know. It costs money. The general takes the 20% out of all kind of a business in the Zona Libre. Of the gross. I like that Yankee term. Gross, not net. Gross. Senor Lake, this is Baron Kirk von Holden. Delighted to meet you. Baron. Do you plan to stay long in Zona Libre? You sell protection, don't you, General? <laughs> Who would want to come after you, Senor Lake? Peace officers, Union soldiers, maybe others. I will give you that protection. Uh, my guess is that you have an interesting business venture you wish to discuss. I'd say you were pretty good on the guessing side. How big is this uh, venture? $50,000? Bigger. Mm. A million dollars, perhaps. That's jumping a whole ocean, General. I will be more daring still. Two million dollars. You must have a good intelligence service. The best. America, no less, Major Matson. It is Matson, is it not? I surrender, General. How does the rest of the information go? You and your Confederates appropriated. I do not like the word steal. A shipment of gold bullion from the Clark Gruber and Company, private mint of Denver, Colorado Territory. Gold that belongs, or to be exact, belonged to the Army of the North. Five men, you all disappear. Wagon, horses, gold, everything. Supreme military logistics. Our information also goes to the effect that you once served on General Robert E. Lee Stauff. What else? So I ask myself, where in all the world can a man go to dispose of that gold but to Sona Libre, where you can dispose or buy anything? We can sell this bullion at proper legal discounts. There are international interests. I didn't come here to sell. I came here to buy. Buy? What, for example? Rifles, gunpowder, food, clothing. We have a good deal of the things you mentioned in a warehouse. More can be obtained. And delivered to New Orleans? Yes. From Contra Costa on our side, by the Gulf to New Orleans. It will require a little while to charter a ship. I'd like to see these supplies, the guns and powder, at least, on the way by the 24th. What about the gold? I can assure you the bullion will be here. The assurance is the gold itself. We would like to see it on this side of the river. You'll have it. Major, I bow to your courage, your patriotism, and above all, your high moral character. I bow to you, General. As a man guided only by the code of pure larceny. <laughs> I see we understand each other. Buenas tardes. General. Baron, it has been a pleasure.
American Intelligence Service. The Austin Texan. Confederate steel gold. Major Matson of General Lee's staff, leader of raiders, believed headed for Zona Libre with gold. Mi general, un mensaje muy importante. This. So Benito Juarez's agents are in Zona Libre conspiring against me. Everyone wants my little country. Maximiliano, Juarez. You have dealt with traitors before, my dear general. Find them. Nada más. Está corriendo. Usted ha vino. Vaya cuatro por uno. Hello. Remember me? Of course. The last time I saw you, you... I was lying face down the river. You look better this way, face up. I feel better, too. Tell me, now that you're here, was it worth all the trouble? Well, it's a little early to say, but prospects are growing brighter by the minute. I buy you a drink for fishing me out of the river? No, I don't drink, and I like fishing. I'm curious about something. There are a lot of bullets flying around out there today. You could have been hurt. Why'd you go to all the trouble to save my neck under those conditions? For the same reason I go to any trouble, senor. Money. I was going to apologize to the senorita for the inconvenience. But I believe the senorita has enjoyed the inconvenience. You will do me the honor of escorting the senorita to my table, if she wishes. So you think you can buy my soldiers with the gold of your masters? What a foolish mission. Why, they love me. I've always been fair. I dominate no man. Your day is over in Zona Libre. <laughs> Question him thoroughly. We will give them a fair trial and shoot them in the morning. Happy to have you with us. This is Roland Strauss. Sir. I am blessed with a disposition of love for everybody, except people who do not understand that they cannot have anything that I want, or that is mine. I feel noble towards you, senor, with love towards you, because for me, you have saved and protected the beautiful senorita while I was occupied elsewhere. Would you like to take me home? If you're sure you want me to. I'm very sure. Life is full of unexpected pleasures. Buenas noches, amigos. Mi general. Buenas noches. my usual disposition to kill this arrogant gringo who so calmly walks away with a beautiful senorita that I adore. But no, I... I must take wonderful care to see that nothing happens to him. That is good thinking, General. This is 
where I live. Oh. Right over your cafe. That's one way of keeping the help honest. No? No. I seem to have made a mistake. As a matter of fact, you've made several. Well, some other time, perhaps. Adios. Wait. Before you go, let me give you some advice, Major Matson. Matson. Surprises you that I know your name? Well, by morning, so will everyone else in town. They'll also know about the gold. Two million dollars worth, I believe. You were going to give me some advice. Yes. Get out of Zona Libra. Get out while you can, tonight. Right now. And leave you to walk home all by yourself. Try to understand something, Major. I like you. This is my way of repaying a kindness. There must be some better way. Don't be a fool. Do as I say. All right, I will, as soon as I take care of some unfinished business. Then don't be surprised if it remains unfinished permanently. You're forgetting that Calleja wants my gold as much as I want his supplies. Only he's not fighting a war. He can afford to wait to gamble. Can you? Listen to me, Major. I know Zona Libra. I know the things that can happen here. And I know Calleja. If you're very lucky, you'll walk out of this alive. But then again, you may not be so lucky. Maybe I will be lucky. Is it really that important to you? It's that important. Such a pity. What? That I had to save you from drowning so that someone else could kill you. Good night, Major. on your minds. Gold. Why you got it stashed, Matson? I had an idea I'd be safe at least till it got here. The lady said I was wrong. Smart lady. Now what about the gold? Why don't you go back to rustling cattle? This little visit might cost you your lives. I'm no good to Kaya dead. In about five minutes you're gonna wish you was dead. All right. All right. What's your deal? I got a dozen men on the other side. We can help you move the gold. We can get it down to Galveston, a gulf port, right through Union territory. I know a couple of big Cuban businessmen will make us a deal on the gold. Two million in bullion? You ought to get at least a million for it, British pound sterling. You declare us in as partners, one third share. Now talk. I want to borrow your gun, Newland. Once you go after somebody with a gun, and even if you kill your man, the affair doesn't end. I'm not going to kill anybody. You that good? How about the gun? I still prefer not to loan it to you. It's something I can't step away from. If I do, there'll be more of the same. Let me have it. your gun.
up their guns. Close friends of yours, General. And if they are my close friends, then what? Then I think we both know where we stand. <laughs> Very good. Of course, you understand what he means, Baron. He thinks I sent these two dogs to find out about his gold. Very funny. You Americanos and your wild imagination. Major, you do not really believe that. Or do you? I'm ready to believe just about anything. Vargas, Sanchez, these two men are no longer welcome in Santa Libre. Deliver them to the American military authorities on the other side. They are both wanted for cattle stealing, and they're wanted very badly. Yeah. Strange what greed does to a man's mind, and a very sad thing, too. And as for you, senor, I congratulate you. You are un gran caballero. Why, no man in Sona Libre would dare play a dishonest trick on you. Not even me. I hope you'll remember that, General. Why, of course. As I said before, you are un gran caballero y muy valiente. to do it. I finally made it up those stairs. Thanks to your friend, Newland. Now, he didn't wait. He's a real friend. How do you feel now? Terrible. Well, you have an elegant flat, fine clothes. Nice. Very nice. I'm glad you approve. No, I didn't say I approved. I said it was nice. Well, you've been uh, chased, shot at, nearly drowned. Had two good beatings all in one day. Do you still think the cause is worth it? On the same length of time, there were probably 200 men killed in the fighting back home. They must have thought it was worth it. I got a big edge. I'm still alive. I have no more patience with you. All right. What would you do? If I were you? First, I'd be honest with myself. Then I'd say to myself, amigo, the Confederacy is doomed. Nothing you can do will save it. Then I'd take the two million dollars in gold, and I'd go to Europe. And I'd spend the rest of my life in a castle. That's what I'd do, Major. I don't believe that. No? I didn't get all this by dedicating myself to a cause. This is everything you want out of life? Everything. All this in General Calleja. I think you'd better go now. Well, you couldn't have done it without him, could you, or someone like him? When he goes, this goes. If he goes. How long do you really think it'll last? And if it lasts forever, what'll it add up to? Happiness? I don't think so, Senorita. You know so much about life. Well, at least I know where I'm going. Yes. Like they did. My brother and my father. They talked the way you talked. Now they're both dead. Killed at the Battle of Buena Vista. I'm sorry. Don't be. At least they didn't live to see the home they were fighting to save bargained away across the treaty table. Treaty of Guadalupe? Yes. 
First their lives, then everything else. But no matter. They died gloriously. The way all good idealists are supposed to die. And you don't approve of that? Dying? Or living for an ideal? No, I don't. Ideals are a luxury. They're meant for the very, very rich. I'm not that rich. Then answer me just one question. Why are you so concerned about saving my life? I assure you, Major, I'm no longer concerned. I don't believe that either. That's for your ideals. Buried a little deep, perhaps, but still there. Then you're staying in Zona Libra, Major? Yes, Senorita, I'm staying. I can't shake my ideals either. Hasta luego. Sanchez? Give me a light. Gracias. I am not an unreasonable man. I do not ask that you excuse my behavior of last night. I only ask that you understand it. What is there to understand about an obvious insinuation? It was clear enough for a child. In my love for you, Preciosa, I am like a child. What I cannot possess completely, I want no one else to possess. You've made that clear often. Right? I cannot help myself. It is like a disease with me. I'm not flattered. That sort of jealousy few women appreciate. I am not speaking of women. I am speaking of one woman, you. Why do you do this to me? Have I not been generous? Do you find me so unattractive? Last night, I would have found a pig more attractive. It is well known all over Sona Libre who you found more attractive. You think you will spite me by lavishing your affections on Major Matson. That is a very grave mistake, Carmelita. Listen to me, Eduardo. I find your spies and informants as objectionable as your insinuations. The man was sick, unconscious. I gave him some brandy and let him rest until he was able to stand on his feet. I would have done as much for a dog. I find the dog both rich and handsome. And I find him troublesome. Now, if that's the only reason you've called me here, I'll be going. No, wait. I will now tell you why you're here. Turn around. Turn around, please. last night and today. Forgive me, Carmelita. It's very beautiful, Eduardo. Much more beautiful than the others. So wear it always. And remember. Remember? That I may not be as charming as others, but much more powerful. And when I have the Americano's gold, richer. I told you how I felt about him. I'm very glad. For his sake. And yours. And now, Preciosa, I think you'd better go. Before I remember that you called me a pig and have you shot for such insolence. Adios. Adios. Stay front. Rank izquierda. Alto. They have confessed. Willingly? Of course. As soon as Esquire is settled with Maximiliano, he'll send troops here. So he thinks he'll take Sona Libre. Just let him try. Alto. Blanco izquierda. Parking. 
Get it out. What do you want? I did not mean to intrude, me, General, but there is a question here. A shipment of cotton which Baron von Holden sold to British purchasers in Cuba. The remittance from that is only $3,000. What? $3,000? It should be more than that. Much more. $6,000 at least. So I mentioned to the Baron. He claims the price has fallen with the demand. He lies. The swine lies. He is lining his pockets at my expense. Can you prove this? I don't have to prove anything. I'm not a businessman. The Baron, he's a good businessman. It took me a long time to realize I dislike this arrogant Prussian. Do you like him, Felipe? Who, me? I'm a soldier. I don't have no place for a businessman. Maybe the price of guns and ammunition will also drop with the demand. Eh, Felipe? With a businessman making a sale, who can say? If there is a sale, why not? The Baron is now dealing in explosives. Very, very dangerous. If you make one mistake with gunpowder, it blows up right in your face. Apunten! Fuck it! Like that. <laughs> You still refuse to tell me, Baron, how these Henry Repeaters of Union Army issue found their way here. Greed, Major. A human force which drives men to dishonor. Ironic, is it not, that these rifles will be used against the Union troops? How many have you got? Close to 12,000. Good. However, Major, there's a small matter. The supplies you have listed, they run far beyond an estimated million dollars. I have two million. I must remind you, you're not as wealthy as you think. When I... I know, I've been told. When you discount, I'll only have a million dollars. Or less. You mustn't forget General Gallegos' personal deduction from the gross. I'll get dollar for dollar. I won't buy. Are you in a position to bargain? Are you? I'm only the General's representative. I wonder. You seem to be driving at something. Just this. I intend to get these supplies, all of them. If I have to bribe for them, or if I have to kill for him. Sleep on it, Baron. Is this a private game, or can anyone sit in? Too crowded. All right. We've done it again. We've done it again. Beat them Confederates to a frazzle. Lee's in full retreat to death. Yes, sir, we got the Confederates reeling. It's the beginning of the end. Perhaps this will bring that gold out of hiding. Well, that's great. I hope the South gets it good. Anybody don't like what I said? You a rebel, Junior? I asked you something. Where you from? Atlanta. What did you do, run away when the shooting started? Leave the kid alone. Oh, you're one of them too, huh? <laughs> More you down here than's fighting a war. Never saw a southern boy yet didn't have a lily sprouting out of his liver. You see, Baron? You worry about my interests, I worry about yours. The Major worries about that other fellow, and I wonder who worries about the Major. <laughs> Got yourself a first-class case of nerves, boy. Since when did you start climbing through back windows? Since I found too many curious people hanging around the front door. Besides, ain't this Latin country? Yeah, but I'm no senior either. Yeah, you ain't no gentleman either. Sorry about the poke, Jeff. I had to make it look good. Pour yourself a drink. Now, how about the gold? It 
it's safe. Got a stash not far from Brownsville. But I don't like keeping it there any longer than we have to. We'll be bringing it across. How about the others? Adamson. Killed. Brady. Killed. I'm sorry. It's been rough going, Cleet. All the way from the Colorado Territory. Well, you had a fool for a spell. Then they got back on our trail. It's rough. What about Stanton? Phil's still with me. He's on the other side. Got everything set? Good. When do we stop moving it? Tomorrow night. It's all here. Time, location, the whole plan. Memorize it, then burn it. Good luck. Your boots, Newland? Sleepwalking. Been doing it since I was a kid. It's a bad habit. I heard of a fellow got killed that way. Yeah? Guess I'd have to do something about it. I would. Hey, amigo. You want to do me a favor? Oh, you want to send a telegram? No, I want to rent a horse. Where's the livery stable? Oh, walk down there and turn around the corner. Gracias. No hay de qué. Amigo? You got a horse for rent? What for you want a horse? Well, I'd rather ride than walk. Good enough reason? All right. Take that one.
We took kind of a bad spill. He's pretty lame. I sort of cover the damage. Sorry about the horses, Mingo. You know what I think, muchacho? I think this Americano lied to me. I think this caballo stumbled into quicksand. Eh, caballo? Why this Americano lied to me? This isn't the place to discuss these things, but a little while ago I saw you talking to a friend of mine, a man by the name of Newland. What do you know about him, Carmelita? You're right, Major. This isn't the place. However, in answer to your question, I know very little about your friend, except that he's as interested in you as you are in him. Is that all? I saw no reason to go into detail. Isn't keeping me alive reason enough? You were quite concerned about that the other night. You seem to forget how the evening ended, Major. I told you I no longer cared what happened to you. You can't any more stop caring than you can stop coming to church. Maybe it's because you got the same blood as your father and your brother, no matter how much you try to deny it. What do you want, Americano? A horse, if you got one handy. I got plenty of horses. You got plenty of money? Yeah, I got plenty of money. All right. Get one there. to see you. I got information about the Americano. The rich Americano. Information. Information. Everyone has an information about the rich Americano. Not to give, to sell. Stable sweeper. But come on and talk. I can hear you. So can everyone else. Come into the office. The general would prefer it. She's all right. Very close to the general. Very close. Very close. So I think, what harm is it to give this fellow a horse? I know Captain Vargas keep good watch on him. But when he comes back, oh, five or six hours later, you should see my beautiful caballo. I almost sick. What happened? Oh, the Americano tells me they had very bad fall. But that's not true, senorita. It's easy to see what really happened. Quicksand. That caballo must have sank three, four feet. That's funny, I think. Why should this Americano lie to me? Maybe you tried to find it out, huh? I give you my word. Me, your word. How come you take so long to tell me? Well, at first, I don't think it's very important, but tonight the Americano come for another horse. I know it's no place to go at Zona Libre at night. No place to go at Zona Libre, huh? Get out! Don't you hear? Get out! Begin! Get me six men and their horses. Meet me back here. Pronto! 
Alberto! I didn't know there was quicksand in Zona Libre, Felipe. I hope it isn't anywhere I might stumble into it. A little too far from here. Almost six miles off the river. But very good place to hide gold. Huh? Very good. I hope the Americano have a wonderful trip tonight. Maybe the last one. <laughs> Hmm. It's all gone. Get another bottle, Felipe. My compliments, huh? Oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, tonight I drink tequila. Tomorrow, champagne. In your money, Captain. Oh, that's a Carmelita's present. You didn't tell me about it. You think I'm a liar? No offense, but I got my orders just like you. I give orders. Don't move. So good. Crazy women. What the devil Listen to me. Vargas knows about the gold. Lopez, the livery stable man, told him about the quicksand. Quicksand? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, insult me some other time. I was there when Lopez told him. Now, Vargas will be out with the patrol any minute. You've got to turn back. It's too late. Then the gold is there. Come on, let's get your horse back.
Seems I've slipped up. There's supposed to be a patrol headed this way. The lady rode out to warn me. They're a little late. You reckon they might be lost? Vargas is only stupid when he's drunk. But a man can sober up very quickly. Don't underestimate him. Hey, it could be a trick. I don't like it, Cleet. I'm afraid you have to. You haven't got any choice. Well, she's telling the truth. The patrol is headed this way. What do we do with the gold? Dump it in the river or hide it in that hole back there. It's too late to start looking for a new place. Yeah, the river's no good. It's too easy to spot in shallow water. Too easy to lose in deep water. Well, let's get at it. I don't have to tell you how important this is, but if that patrol don't show, we got to figure the girl was lying, and we can't let her go back knowing what she does. Let's worry about that when we're through. Don't move! Don't nobody move! It's much better! <laughs> Hey, Carmelita, it's not nice to live with Felipe. You know what? The old pig in the bar. Don't give me no tequila. Don't move! <laughs> now, everybody turn around. Whoa! I can come. A lot of tequila with this gold. Ah, oh, yes. Good boy, Phil. How bad are you hurt? I'm more scared than hurt. Did he have his men with him when he left? No, he just sent out for them. Well, chances are he came out after you by himself. He was drunk enough to do that. They have to be pretty drunk to try it alone. Or pretty ambitious. You better get rid of the body, Phil. Take it up a ways and sink it. And see if you can find his horse. We'll finish up here. I guess we owe you an apology. And a lot more. I got rid of him, but no luck on the horse, not a trace. We can't spend all night tracking him down. We got to get back. Get rid of the raft. That look all right? Good. Well, let's get a move on. kind of late. Did you get it across all right? I don't quite get you. The gold. Oh, I was out with a lady. That's why your question threw me a little. I think it's about time we quit the kidding, Matson. You know something? So do I. Hey. You're lucky, but awful stupid. About to pull the trigger. You wouldn't. You may be a lot of things, but you're no killer. No? What am I? That's what I'm going to find out. Empty your pockets. All of them, the inside ones, too. You're no killer, but I am. Is it 
detective for Clark Gruber. How'd you know I'd show up in Zona Libra? Where else could you go? A Canadian. The Union must be pretty hard up to have to hire you fellas to get their gold back. You're lucky there too, Matson. I'm raw. This was my first case. Don't feel bad about it. I'd have turned the gold over to Kaya before I'd have let you fellas have it. In a way, I hope he does get it. Not that I've got any brief for the Union. But if you pull this off, you'll only be stretching out the war a few more weeks. Helping to kill a few hundred more men, and for what? A lost cause. Like it or not, the Confederacy's finished. Go on. Get out. I'm not up to any speeches tonight. Ounces. Current rate, that's about $9,000. By the way, I assume you have shown Joe Kayeki the sample or told him about it. No, I intend to get a dollar's worth of supplies for a dollar's worth of gold. Kayeki is out to get the gold. To put it mildly, I don't trust him. I don't trust you either. But I think you'd make a deal just to knife Kayeki. Any comment I might make to that would be at best indiscreet. For $2 million, you can afford to be indiscreet. You're a more direct man than I, Major. Suppose you do the talking. All right. See to it, I get a ship and all the supplies I've asked for. The day they leave here, I'll turn over two million in gold to you. What you do with the gold's up to you. Simple enough. Treason is another nasty word in Zona Libre. However, there are limits. Cut it out, Baron. You haven't convinced me for a minute. Is it a deal or not? I have information that Juarez will soon be sending troops to Zona Libre. A force estimated at five times the size of Caer's army. If true, the general will be most anxious to have that gold. Sort of a nest egg, you know. In the event that he's forced to abdicate suddenly. Well, that's his problem. How would I go about getting the gold out? To say nothing on myself. That's your problem. Mine's the supplies. Well? A telegram I received yesterday. The ship is the Excalibur. She's a Mexican registry, flies the Mexican flag. She arrive at Contra Costa in two days, then proceeding here at once. After loading, she'll head back for the Gulf and then on to New Orleans. I assume the general knows about this. Uh, no. As a matter of fact, the local telegrapher and I have an arrangement, uh, so to speak. Baron, you make the general look like a rank amateur. They seem to have located Vargas's horse, but apparently not Vargas. What's this about Vargas? He has been missing since early last evening. I assume you knew. We found Vargas's horse by the river. But the reins were chewed, so it's hard to say a party has wandered. Well, I don't like it. There's something funny about the whole thing. And we're not going to get any place with you just standing here. Get some men and go out and search. And don't come back until you find him. See me, General. Excuse me, General. I'm wondering if Baron von Holden has discussed with you the arrangements being made for use of the Excalibur. The Baron is not much for discussing things these days. The name Excalibur means nothing to me. A ship, General. Perhaps it's best for you to read this. A copy of a telegraph delivered to the Baron yesterday morning. Yesterday morning? Why did it take such a long time to reach us? Perhaps it's because the telegrapher also has an arrangement with the Baron. He must be most delicate in these matters. Yes. Well, he better be most delicate with the general. Pretty soon now, I think the gunpowder goes. <laughs>
Very, very beautiful. I must get some of these for my army. But when used on my good friend Captain Vargas, that is another story. I truly do not understand what anyone could gain by killing a man so loyal, so generous, and so kind as Felipe. I can appreciate the General's feelings. I, too, value the Captain's friendship. But it is not about Captain Vargas that I have called you. It is to find out how far we have progressed. Our friend here has yet to show us the color of his gold. Yes, and I'm getting a little impatient. You'll see it when my supplies are loaded on the boat. There will be no loading until I see the gold. You understand that, Baron? Yes. Oh, uh, about the boat. You have made certain arrangements? Uh, not yet, General. I expect to have some news in a day or so. It's very important to make these arrangements. Otherwise, the boat would come in and out, and we wouldn't know a thing about it. You understand, Baron? Also, without these arrangements, it might be necessary to load at night, when everybody else is sleeping. And we are going to load in the daytime. Yes, of course. And don't you think it's a little strange, a little odd, that a person would come here with a business proposition so big, so vast, so important, and yet not show us one ounce of that gold to show that he had it? I must agree with the General. I'm afraid you'll have to go on being suspicious, General, until I... Have I said that I was suspicious? Have I accused anyone of anything? Of course not. The Major imagines. Would you mind if I take leave? There are some matters I must attend to. Business. Go ahead. I would like for you to stay, Major. Oh, Baron, please do not forget the arrangements. something I enjoy doing, but under the circumstances. What are you thinking about, Major? I'd hate to tell you, General. Might be well if you understood the price of treason, too. There is one thing that I won't forgive. That's cheating. Duplicity. An admirable trait. Now, where is the gold? Not one bar, but all of it. I know it's here. I know it's right here in Santa Libre. Captain Vargas found it and was killed. You're beating your way 40 times around the barn for nothing, General. Do you deny killing him? That's right, I deny it. See you at the dock. Oh, and by the way, with the Baron gone, I'm changing my plans to include you, General. Just having my supplies loaded on the boat won't do anymore. I want you there, too. At least as far as the Gulf. That's where the payoff takes place now. Adios. El General has great patience. Patience, Sanchez, is the virtue of all great men. Only fools act rashly. General Calleja, please, Mr. General, it's most urgent. Yes, what is it? This telegram just arrived for the Baron, the late Baron von Holden. Does anyone else know about this? Only the telegrapher, the general. Throw him in jail. It's from the port of Contra Costa. From the owner of the ship Excalibar. So she's on the way here. She was boarded by the troops of Juarez. Then she will not be here. She'll be here soon enough, but not for loading. He was trying to sell this. I didn't steal it. I found it by the river. Get rid of this fool. So he found it by the river. At last, things are beginning to clear up. Now we'll find what we're looking for. I'm so relieved, Eduardo. I knew I'd lost it, but I was afraid to tell you. I thought you'd be angry. 
I am angry, Preciosa. But for other reasons. Do you know where this was found? No? By the river. Near where Captain Vargas was found. By the river? Well, how? I don't understand. Oh, it. please, Carmelita. Do not insult me with your stupid lies. Now, about the gold. Where is it? Eduardo. If I knew where this gold was hidden, I would have taken it for myself and left Zona Libre. Do you still deny you're at the river with El Americano? Enough! I grow weary of this play acting. And I grow weary of your insinuations. If the general will allow me, it is not for me to question his methods. But there are more rapid ways to determine what is true and what is not. Get out, Sanchez! Please, Carmelita. Try to understand me. It is not for myself alone that I wish this gold. I would like to share my whole life with you. Juarez will soon be here. Even now, his forces are on the way. If you ask me to, I will remain to fight him. But if you wish, we can both go. If you could only love me. Love you? I despise you. So, you prefer the gringo? Very well. I'll tell you one thing. You'll never have him. Sanchez, get the men. We're leaving. Then the senorita has told you. No. If the general will let me try Some bend it. under will. Others merely rebel against it. The senorita's will is very strong. However, there is another way, a very clever way, which we will try first. You may go now, Sanchez. See me, general. If you're looking for the girl, you won't find her in there. Calle and some soldiers left with her about an hour ago. They headed for the river. Why are you telling me this? Well, I'm looking for new employment. After the way I fumble-fingered this job. If you happen to need a good man... You're changing your tune a bit, aren't you? Nope. Just decided I don't like the general very much. You can use some help. Yeah, you'll find Fletcher and Stanton inside. Maybe he thinks the gold is hidden in her eyes. <laughs> Está loco. <laughs> May I remind El General that Benito Juarez is already on his way to Zona Libre? This is no time for experiments. You forget yourself, Captain Sanchez. However, this time I'm disposed to ignore it. Captain Sanchez grows impatient. I do not think I can control him much longer. For your sake, I advise that you try to remember. How can I remember what I never knew? Why do you stop? Tell me, Preciosa, how did you know about the quicksand? I've heard stories. Is that so strange? Everyone in Zona Libre has. Well, I've heard stories, too. I know this river very well. And even I didn't know the exact location of this quicksand. It's very, very strange. Captain Sanchez! We will begin search right here. Mia tierra! I figure it's better if we met here separate. Never should have let that woman walk away. She'll lead the general right to the goal. Ain't this a picture? Us riding side by side with the man we were hiding from. No telling how many men Kaya has with him. We may be riding into a bigger fight than we can handle. When we get to the river, we'll move in on foot. Come on. I understand the general's loyalty to La Senorita. But this is foolishness. Our time grows short. I know what I'm doing. Yes. But you're letting this woman twist you around her little finger. <laughs> Enough out of you, Sanchez. Not even for you, Carmelita, will I lose the respect of my men. Where is the gold? 
Where is the gold? Jeff, get back to the horses. See if you can cut them off before they get to town. The gold will slow them up. Nolan! Keep me covered. Well, General, the ship is here and the supplies are ready to be loaded. And I am sure Benito Juarez would like to do this thing. Because, Major, it is ironic you have, in your own way, done for Mexico a great service. The supplies will be loaded at once, and it is my hope they will bring you great success. Thank you, General. I'm grateful for your help and your good wishes. 